blah, blah, blah. Rank one. Rank one. I will be the only League of Legends player to be rank one in every single region. Remember this name. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C and I am back and I bring to you another League of Legends video, another one of those build guides and today we got a very special one, we're going to be doing it on the guy who is currently rank 1 in North America, yes rank 1, the champion he plays the most is Diana, so it's going to be a Diana focus build guide his name is arc second and he does have a stream link in the description he does stream very often so like 10 hours a day sort of thing that's what he's been doing over the last few weeks so definitely go check him out especially if you play in the mid lane he doesn't just play diana he plays a lot of champions but diana's just the champion he plays the most so his main account is rank one as i said before but he hasn't really been playing on it simply because he's rank one and he can't rank up any further so he's got a smurf account known as arc minute which is currently ranked 211 so very very close to challenger it's currently masters and he's played 110 games on this account with a 65% win rate on Diana and on his main account he has played 168 games on Diana with a 67% win rate on both accounts Diana is his most played champion so without further ado let's get into this build guide so first things first, I've only seen him play Diana in the mid lane, at least in the last month. I haven't seen him play Diana in the jungle or in the top lane, so this is going to be a mid lane focus guide. So starting with the summoner spells, he only takes TP and Flash, and the reason for this is because Diana is fairly weak pre-6, so if you do make a mistake early on, you can then just TP back to lane, and you will not miss out on too much CS. Then mid to late game, when your TP is up, you can then look to split push in the outer lanes, and Diana is actually not too bad at splitting as she can 1v1 a number of champions and if the enemy team sends the wrong champion to deal with her which is very possible in solo queue she can easily take advantage of this by picking up a kill and therefore creating more pressure and this seems to be his playstyle from some of the games I watched he would often look to go to the outer lanes and push them in creating more pressure around the map so now onto his runes and masteries and we'll start with his mastery page so he takes a pretty standard Diana mastery page 12 18 0 with his keystone mastery being a Thunderlord's Decree. So this is a page that most Diana players would take, so you guys can just pause the video and copy it if you want to. So now onto his runes. Now I saw him take four different rune pages. So I'll start with his standard rune page that he takes in most matchups, and that is nine magic penetration reds, nine scaling health yellows, nine flat magic resist blues, and three ability power quints. So for the people that don't have too many rune pages, you probably should go with something like this if you just want the one rune page for Diana. The second page he used is just a slight variation to the previous one. Instead of going flat magic resist blues, he goes with scaling magic resist blues instead. Two matchups I saw him use this rune page with was against Azir and Morgana, so I guess he's not too worried about their early game damage, but he's more worried about their late game damage. The third page that he uses is a very aggressive page where instead of using MR blues, he goes with scaling ability power. The only matchup I saw him use this in was against TF, but apart from that I would say he only uses this against very squishy team comps with no CC. Finally, he uses this page against AD matchups, so magic penetration reds, flat armor yellows, scaling ability power blues, and then the three ability power quints. This would be against matchups such as Zed, Yasuo, Gangplank, Riven, to name a few. Now onto his item build. So his starting items would always be a Doran's ring and two pots and a yellow trinket. This is pretty standard on Diana, so nothing too special here. Now onto his core build, and his core build is a little bit different to what a lot of Diana players are going with right now. He would always look to rush a Rod of Ages first, which is interesting because most Diana players currently look to rush an Abyssal Scepter instead. He prefers the scaling item of Rod of Ages, which also provides mana and health. Next he would look to get a Nash's Tooth, and then his boots would either be Boots of Lucidity for the CDR, or Merc Treads if the enemy team has a lot of CC. He doesn't really go with any other boots apart from these. His core build is definitely late game focused, so early on he would be looking to farm up to get to these items as quick as possible. As for his final build, it would be something along these lines, so Rod of Ages, Nash's Tooth, 
Boots of Lucidity, Death Cap, Zonyas, and a Void Staff. He pretty much goes with this build like every single game. I haven't seen him go with any other items. The only other item I saw him go with was Lich Bane, but he actually bought that just before the game ended, so he probably wasn't going to buy that anyway, so he pretty much only goes with these items. They may come in a different order, such as rushing the Zonyas before the Death Cap or the Void Staff as a third item, but it's pretty much always going to be Rod of Ages into Nash's Tooth, get your boots, and then these three items to follow. Finally, we'll talk about his skill order. So he would start with W, get two points in Q, and then E, and then he'll max Q first, W second, E third, and then obviously his ultimate whenever you can. So the biggest thing with this is he always starts with W instead of Q. So if you're one of those players that starts with Q, maybe try out starting with W instead and see how it goes for you. So ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of the video. I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. I've pretty much doubled in subscribers over the last few weeks, which is absolutely insane. Thank you so much. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like. And as always, have a nice day.